Hey folks, uh, Fallen Knight Nandy here, and we're going to talk about relationships, so let's get into it. So my very first date was uh, back in high school, um, which was about... 20 odd years ago <laughs> um, and I thought it was going well uh, we kissed we cuddled and um, yeah but then next day at school she's going around telling everyone that we slept together and that she was pregnant which was not true <laughs> um, so when I found out about this, I basically said to her, look, if you're going to do this sort of stuff, I'm not going to be with you. So broke up with her and then five minutes later, she's walking past me while I'm sitting with my friends and saying, oh, it wasn't you that knocked me up. It was your friend. I looked at my friend and my friend looked at me and we just burst into laughter because she was obviously trying to cause drama and um, all that and whatever we just went on and yeah uh, and then about two months later she actually calls my landline now this is before we had mobile phones so we had a landline and we had a private number because we were getting calls from like telemarketers at like three in the morning trust me it happened <laughs> um so she calls me and she's like if you don't go if you don't get back with me i'm gonna sick my brother onto you and get him to beat you up and blah 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 and i'm like well good luck to you <laughs> And I even asked her, hey, who gave you my number? And she said, well, I'm not going to tell you that. And then all of a sudden she tells me and I'm like, right, okay. So I find out who it was. I went to their place and ripped into them being like, this is a private number. You shouldn't have given it away. You should have asked first, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. And then next day at school I see her and I just do my best to try and ignore her and then all of a sudden she disappeared and I'm like okay <laughs> so after that my friend who was accused of um, sleeping with this girl uh, he tried to arrange a relationship with another friend of his and it was mostly over the phone he was like oh I know this girl and blah 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 and then he's like I'll give her your number and I'm like okay cool and we're talking over the phone she sounded lovely she sounded nice and all this other stuff and then um, all of a sudden my friend is like, um, I hate to break it to you, but the girl you think it is, is not who you think it is. It's actually my friend pretending to be someone. And once he told me that, I kind of broke down and lost it. So, and then he called, well, she calls me again and she's like, hey, how are you going? And I'm like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're not even the real person person because of my friend telling me this and um all that and then just hung up on her so saw my friend at school the next day was not happy with him and um yeah i tried dating sites yes i've tried quite a few and some have led nowhere um, mainly because a lot of dating sites are now requiring money and 
a lot of dating sites, I'm not really getting many messages. Um, so, yeah, I'm not exactly thrilled with dating apps or dating sites or anything like that. So, yeah. <sighs> Out in public. <laughs> oh, God. So, there was one girl that I did meet in public and I didn't meet her through a dating site or anything, but um, it was just someone I saw when I was going to a certain store and she was there and I kind of fell in love with her because I thought she was a beautiful soul and um, all that and I tried to get with her but at the same time she was a bit young um, mind you I was uh, 27 at the time so yeah I kind of wanted to wait until she was like older and all that but then I was working at the same time and my work was like oh you're not meant to be fraternizing with um, the people in the stores and if you keep continuing this um, you and her would get fired and um, both be removed from the actual center and all that and I'm like oh okay so I basically turned around and did the most dumbest thing I could ever think of and tried to um, push her away because I, I didn't want her to be fired I didn't want to be fired myself so I'm, I'm not exactly happy with the way I did it uh, but you can understand why I did it you know um, Obviously, I'm not going to mention her name, and if she comes across this, uh, I'm, I'm not saying it's her fault or anything, but, um, yeah, I, I basically gave her a little bit of a push away, and then, um, just left her alone, and, yeah, and I know this was, was in the past, and, um, all that but this is basically what has happened with me and forming relationships and other stuff like that um would i do this sort of stuff where i'm trying to push someone away that i care for no but it also depends on how things go if I'm doing everything I can and nothing comes out of it then I, I'm just going to move on um, so as you know in uh, previous clips um, or my last clip I think I was talking about workplaces or jobs um, and I have had the chance to work with some girls and some were attractive some were attractive and I tried everything I could to be like no I don't want to hit on these girls unfortunately some I did but <sighs> I'm not the bad guy here okay just <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, surprisingly some of the girls that I worked with also tried to flirt with me as well, but they already had a boyfriend or a partner and I'm like, mm, you better stop. Because <laughs> I had to put on this um, like persona that I'm a hard worker and um, 
that I didn't want any sort of distractions and when they were trying to flirt with me during work hours I was like not interested and um, tried to push them away as much as possible but occasionally I slipped and um, tried floating back but obviously they throw it back at me and being like no I go to work and all this other stuff and yeah so but also they also turned around and said I've got a boyfriend or I've got a partner and I'm like oh that's right <laughs> whoops <laughs> Have I tried my hand at speed dating? Yes. Yes, I have. And the girls I met didn't seem that interested in me. They were more interested in the work I did. And I was like, isn't the idea of this hot speed dating thing is to know the actual person not the actual work because I I never asked the girls about their job or what they did in their job but that's what they mostly asked me and I'm like huh <laughs> so I never tried speed dating again um, it felt like a waste of time So have I tried much else in my years? No, not really. Um, as much as I would like to try and flirt with some of the girls that I work with now, um, I can't because they are too young and there's also some women there that are already in a relationship and uh, already taken and stuff like that so I'm not really going to do that and obviously I'm there to just work I'm not there to fraternize or anything so I'm not exactly gonna go down that road so yeah that's pretty much it um, where I stand now is basically I've given up um, I'm just gonna focus on what I do for YouTube and um, TikTok if you want to follow me there it should be in my bio um, and I'm also just gonna focus on my work and um, I I'm obviously not going to um, break the policies and procedures of the workplace and hit on customers and all that because that's when customers complain about that sort of stuff and um, it's like I'm here as a customer I'm and it's like oh, <laughs> so not gonna do that um, as for the girls I work with, again, too young and some are already taken, so not going to try with them. Um, and yeah, so I I don't know what else to do. I mean, I'm still going to be a nice guy and everything, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to do what I normally do. And if something comes out of it, then something comes out of it, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath, I'm just going to go with it and um, stuff like that. So, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have much else to really talk about. Um, if there is anything you do want me to talk about, feel, feel free to ask in the comments. 
Um, also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, obviously, up to 116 now, which is fantastic. Um, I really do appreciate everyone that has subscribed, and um, I also appreciate the comments and likes and everything like that. Excuse me. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, I shall catch you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>